Try to, that should be a goal going forward. Where are you on a physical scale, one to ten? If ten is perfect condition, not nothing wrong, everything like you're 16 years old, where are you on that scale? I mean, I don't know if we're ever 16 again, right? Uh, but I think Hawaii said it. You know, everybody's dealing with something in the regular postseason, so you just got to kind of fight through it. But I'm fine. What was the process dealing with, like last year? Of, you know, after your injury, getting back in the finals, and what are things are relatively easier this go around? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, like, like I said before, we don't really get the chance to enjoy some of our success because we're all just looking forward. So it's, I don't even know. It's hard to reflect and look back. You know, you're just trying to, yeah. just trying to look forward and uh, I guess reflect when it's all, all said and done. Coach Kerr said that this team is unique and that he can collaborate with the players because of your maturity and experience and the game plan and strategy. Have you seen that play, to, play out over the last few seasons? Uh, I think, you know, you just players input's a big thing, you know, we're able to adjust during the game if we see someone on the court, uh, and he's very receptive to the information that, that we feel or we see on the court. Uh, you got some coaches that are that way, and some coaches are, tend to be the total opposite, where, you know, they make adjustments on their own, and they don't want any input, and, and, and it's kind of like, a, you know, one voice. Um, after he got his money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm bullshitting. Yeah. I mean, there's something, there's something kind of mystical about his ability to just take over, take over games. I mean, if you just pay attention to him, you think you saw it in college a little bit. You know, uh, how many Final Fours did he go to? Uh, things like that. Uh, when you go through draft process, that's the, you know they don't yeah. put those attributes into play, or they don't evaluate those as much as they should. You know, it's always kind of there's always that vanity play or whatever it may be your, your length or how fast you are or how well you shoot or something that's overlooked and then it's things that are underlooked and winning is something that's underlooked. There, there's a winning trait and uh, uh, fewer and fewer guys are having it as we, as we are in the, uh, where we're trending in basketball. What, do you, what, what is that about? I, I don't disagree with you, but I'm curious as to why you think that's the case. Uh, social media. Is it just too much ego? I mean, egos with everything that's involved, you know, the media planning to it and the, yeah. and the, and the, the, the uh, parents, yeah. obviously, the uh, players, uh, business of basketball, everything plays a role. Under what's it like? What's it like to get so many questions and I want to go? <laughs> <laughs> in a season where you guys have a game either every day or every other day to have this break, uh, how do you adjust it? I think we're trying to be smart with it. Well, we had a few guys, you know, just trying to get back injury and uh, it's giving us some time to get that rest and take advantage of it so I think whatever is thrown our way we just try to make the most of it uh, whether it be a ton of games you know, we're just trying to you know grit through it or you get a little break and try to use it to your advantage but have the right balance to make sure guys are uh, getting game shots staying in shape and uh, keeping it rhythm. Big picture question when you look at the arc of your career how much of it was by design how much of it was Good fortune. Do you wind up where you are? Uh, I mean, good fortune. I mean, you can uh, define that in a lot of different ways, depending on the person, what you believe in. So, all of it's good fortune, obviously. Uh, but with good fortune, you gotta you gotta make the most of uh, your talents, what you've been given. Some guys make the most of the talents. Some guys don't. You know, some guys don't make the most of the talents. Still have tons of success. Just imagine if they made the most. Of it. So. For me, it's just all good fortune, but uh, just trying to maximize it uh, with the work ethic and trying to make smart decisions, surrounding myself with the right people, uh, trying to grow and mature each and every year. So, uh, more good fortune for sure. Though. How is this team or this situation combined or provided the opportunity for you to maximize who you are? Uh, it's helped uh, tremendously, and, and I always say uh, the situation is perfect, but. I forget to say vice versa. Uh, I remember like 15 years ago, Carmelo got a award and gave a speech and he said, I want to thank myself for putting the hard work in. <laughs> I, I've never done that, but I'm right, I'm around that time where I'm like, same thing the opposite way. Great. Oh, you, one thing. You, <clears throat> you were here when Sean came in, when the team signed Sean. Yes. He was kind of damaged goods at the time, you know. Yes, he was not a hot property. Says, opinion, not fact. He was not a hot property at the time. But opinion. Did, what was your expectation when he came here? It was, you know, there, he'd been, you guys have run through other guys. Well, that's the way the league can work, you know. Yeah. Uh, guys can get in situations that don't benefit them uh, all across the board, from superstars all the way down to uh, guys on that edge of being in the league. And it's all about getting the right opportunity. I always saw what Sean can do. Um, and I feel like this team, we try to maximize the individual uh, just as much as 
make sure they try to help our team. So I uh, just put him in a good position, and he's been able to flourish. And uh, you know, confidence uh, plays a key role in that, and we try to give everybody confidence. Thank you. God bless.